Hey guys, it's Pastor Mark here again. Uh, so, just one last video for our uh, mini sabbatical week. Um, at least one last video of our time up in uh, northern Minnesota along the north shore of Lake Superior. Maybe in a minute I'll even try to uh, stand up and show you our view of the lake from here. But uh, we decided to do, uh, instead of going out to eat tonight, we decided to have bratwurst and chips and marshmallows and graham crackers and s'mores stuff for dessert uh, the hotel has this nice fire ring outside for us to use so uh, we're enjoying the use of it tonight it's uh it was kind of a it started off as a cool day and then it warmed up to be a decent day and now it's kind of clouding up and being cool again which is actually just perfect weather for our fire tonight um so katie uh there's Katie eating her, getting her s'more ready. You're killing me, Smalls. Uh, so what was your favorite waterfall? We saw 11 waterfalls. You'll notice, guys, in the last waterfall video, I was confused and said 12. It was not 12. It was 11. Uh, what was your favorite waterfall this week? Uh, I think um, I think it was Caribou because of the gorge. Mm -hmm. And... Just the sheer power of yeah. the water. Well, I've got to say, uh, my favorite falls, uh, I'll put it this way. My favorite one in the United States uh, was, shoot, which one was it? It was the one with the, where it funneled together and then fell. And it, it was pretty big. Uh, it wasn't Caribou. Was it Devil's Kettle? It wasn't Devil's Kettle. It must have been... Uh, Beaver Bay, I think. I think or was it, was, it the cross? No, I think it was Beaver Bay. Because we couldn't see all of the cross. So I think it was Beaver Bay was my favorite uh, waterfall. Uh, when you guys go back and look at my videos, it's one where it kind of all funnels together and then falls. It's really kind of cool that way. Um, that would be my favorite falls. It was hard to, to judge, though, because that, that high falls um, on the, what was it, Tedaguchi river mm -hmm. that was pretty cool that was the highest falls in minnesota uh and then my my favorite falls probably of the entire trip would be my favorite one in in canada let's say we only saw one per se in canada would be that that uh upper falls on the pigeon river or high falls on the pigeon river uh that was a pretty cool river or pretty cool cool waterfall it had three uh parts of the waterfall that were kind of coming over all at the same time and that was cool. I actually tried another video that I'll, uh, maybe I'll post at a later time just talking about that and how that relates to marriage, actually. And uh, I thought that was really cool as an example. Got lots of cool backgrounds for worship and, and video loops for worship on my phone. So hopefully get them on the computer and get them up behind some songs. In fact, we saw one where the trees were all kind of in the rock, on the side of the rock. That was at Caribou today, wasn't mm -hmm. it? At Caribou, like, I'll, and I'll post some pictures on Facebook. There's like all these trees growing out of the sheer rock cliff, and you got the water flowing down right next to it. And it just reminded us of the song about how God is our rock, or Jesus is our rock that won't move, um, and uh, the rock of our salvation. Uh, one of our favorite songs, actually. Um, and speaking of that song, actually, the person that I I favor the most to sing that song. My favorite worship uh, artist, I'll say, or favorite worship leader to sing that song is a friend of mine uh, by the name of Forrest Macy, Pastor Forrest Macy from Real Church in Fargo. And uh, tomorrow evening, we're going to be, hopefully, having uh, dinner with him and his wife and his kids and uh, get to hang out with them a little bit and, and uh, just have some good uh, relationship time with him. I uh, haven't... Uh, haven't had to, gotten to see much of him uh, lately, and um, I'll cherish every moment that we are there and able to spend with their family, uh, with you know Forrest and Naomi and Elijah and and Neo, uh, really? Lily, and then do they they don't have a name for their one? Well, not do that they? We know. Uh, the name was pregnant actually right at the end of her term, and and so that's why I'm saying hopefully we have dinner with them because she could have a baby any day. Um, anyway, so that's, that's my favorite singer of Rock Won't Move, and, um, so, uh, I'll probably show him the picture, and, um, so yeah, I'll stand up for a minute here, and kind of show you, this is our, 
This is our hotel that we're at. American and Tofty. And that is the view out on the Lake Superior that we get here. Of course, right next to a holiday. And every town you go to in, in Minnesota has a holiday. In North Dakota, every town has a Senex. And in Minnesota, it seems like every town has a holiday. And uh, really cool views of Lake Superior from here. And, uh, yeah, so this is a super long video tonight. Um, kind of as a finishing one. It'll probably take forever to load. I've noticed that with these YouTube videos off my phone. Um, you know, and I'll, I, I just want to go back to mentioning something. I uh, The whole reason I even did these videos, I mean, some of it is memories for my wife and I as we're out here in our mini sabbatical and enjoying life and, and enjoying each other and just being together. And, and it's a lot of fun just, you know, being out in nature with God. Um, but I have a friend uh, by the name of Marcus Corey. He's an old college buddy. Him and his wife Heidi and their kids are out in uh, probably in Virginia somewhere, I'm guessing. Um, he's on his sabbatical. He was able to take a longer sabbatical and um, him and his family are hiking or through hiking the entire Appalachian Trail. Uh, they started in Georgia and now I think they're up into Virginia somewhere. They've gone over 500 miles. I don't haven't seen a new video come up yet of 600, so I'm guessing 500 and some miles. And, uh, and maybe into 600 by now. And um, so I'll, I'll find a way to put their, uh, their link in the description at some point. But the channel that they have is A Mile in Their Shoes. A uh, really cool thing they're doing. They're actually uh, also trying to get sponsors to sponsor them per mile. And they're going to give it to a, a, a charity that um, gives shoes to people that need them. I'm not totally sure on what all that means. Uh, you'll have to go back to one of their videos and check it out, and they'll explain that a lot better than I can. Um, but yeah, check out their uh, their page or their channel on uh, YouTube or their page on Facebook. That's a mile in their shoes. And um, yeah, so I think that's that's it for tonight. Um, maybe I'll have a quick video tomorrow of hanging with my buddy Forrest and Fargo. And uh, hope you guys have enjoyed how I uh, have enjoyed the videos that I've been shooting of the waterfalls and and uh, you know it, it's so crazy we didn't even get probably I would say we didn't get to half of the waterfalls along this North Shore and um, you know they're just right here there's only about eight miles from home or eight miles eight miles eight hours from home and. Uh, you know, they're just right out here for everyone to come see. So if you're ever wondering about a good family vacation, come to the North Shore of Lake Superior. Lots of things to do. Lots of hiking, lots of biking, lots of camping. Something for everybody. Something for everybody. Kayaking. We've seen lots of kayaks and ca canoes. In fact, my view of Lake Superior, you probably saw somebody with a canoe on top of their car. I mean, how cool is that? So, all right, now I'm getting long-winded. Super long video. See you guys.